We start with a point. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. My name is Rob Bryanton, and it's me imagining the 10th Dimension video vlog back again. Just before we get started here, I want to remind you we're looking at a series of poll questions now. If you go to 10thdimension.com slash blog, you'll always be able to find some new poll questions. Uh, we're looking at poll questions that have finished here, of course. We're looking at poll 76 this time, and it went like this. From a photon's point of view, there is no space, no time, no mass. Light does not exist within the world of space, time, and matter. That poll ended on January 8th, 2011. 70.2% agreed and 29.8% disagreed. As you can probably tell as we look at this current crop of poll questions, I became quite fascinated with the ramifications of my light has no speed entry. And each of these poll questions are looking at the same idea from a number of different perspectives. Where am I heading with this? In 2011, I've been repeatedly showing the diagram I'm showing you again here now, which is a way of thinking about how gravity and light interact to create our constantly evolving now within the fifth dimension. And as I keep returning to, Einstein himself eventually agreed with the proposition that the field equations of gravity and light for our reality are resolved when they're calculated in the fifth dimension. Coincidence? I think not. One of the most important ideas that spring from this diagram might be that it's more accurate to think of light and our universe's duration as residing within the fifth dimension. Does that mean time is a direction in the fifth dimension? In a way it does, but since we're already calling the first four dimensions space-time, does that make any sense? My answer to that conundrum is that words like time are the same as words like up or forward. They represent directions, not specific dimensions. Time is a way of describing change from state to state, and those changes make just as much sense whether they're viewed from the direction of time or anti-time. Is up a direction in the third dimension, or is it forward? Either could be true. It depends upon your frame of reference. But as we discussed again with the poll question we're looking at here, the photon's ability to travel at the speed of light puts it within a specific space where there appears to be only one possible set of states from the beginning to the end of the universe, which would be at right angles to our space-time, where the star 10 light years away emitting a photon and that photon hitting your eye are, from the photon's point of view, simultaneous. This takes us back to the hard determinist viewpoint that there is really only one world line for our universe, and our free will is only a useful illusion, nothing more. In the past, I've said that's the difference between the one world line that seems to be the fourth dimension and the fifth dimension probability space that we are really navigating within. So, is time a direction in the fifth dimension, or is time in the fourth? Either could be true. It all depends upon your frame of reference. Next time we'll look at poll 77, which asks, what would you do differently if you knew the world you're living in is only a gigantic simulation? My name's Rob Bryanton. Enjoy the journey.